not sure what kind of build I want to do. I might go for a warp prism build. Whenever he moves out for his like eight, nine, ten minute aggression, I'll warp prism drop him. How did they both get out of there alive? That is ridiculous. That should not have happened. a lot of damage. I might just do like a robo timing or something. God, I need to hurry up and get my immortals out.
is about to kind of suck for him. That moment when he realizes, like, no, he's freaking been on two base. Where's my observer? Stim is strong. I should not have taken that much damage, I did not split my shit very well. Good. Fucking A! Wow, how did I let this game go?
Well, that sucks. Let's go in the replay and see like how much damage I actually did and whatnot and whatnot. That was pretty retarded. That was cool that he bided time till Stim was finished, or maybe he got lucky and then like pushed down with a lot of workers and the Stim units, and like I had to focus by the workers or else they'd get surround. So, and I wanted to kill workers all. Um, that was cool that he pushed me back. I should have chrono boosted. I should have not put down. Been like, oh, oh, wow, herp derp. Like this is not like I've done enough damage, you know. Let's put down the forge and the whatever, and then keep trying to fight. Well, I didn't keep trying to fight. He came down, so I should have turned around, I guess, and not lost all those units. And then that would have been an easy game. Or if I didn't put down those things, instead I put down them, in t <clears throat> put down the forge and tech and stuff. Instead, if I put down more gateways earlier, could have boosted them all. I would have had like five, six, seven, eight more units here, and he would have pushed out, and lost all his workers and all his army, and maybe killed all mine. But I'm on two base production with like a six, like st uh, unit warp incoming. How did my how how did he let that shit get away, man? What, how did I lose to this shit? Damn. And then that, I should have killed the moment my zealot got there. Uh, oh, I turned back. Bastard. This was good, though. Less than half health, almost one third health, and then I got my stalker out of there. So that was pretty good. Except he still has the same number of workers than me. Stupid shit. I'm not constantly making workers. One. Come on. Oh, I'm spy blocked. There we go. Chrono boofed. Ah, why am I not chrono boofing my workers? Or at least my immortal. Oh yeah, that I'm doing the all in now. This was like so ridiculously unlucky. So I guess if I Oh he got Medivax too, that's a huge deal too. Stim's already finished, yeah duh. So if I didn't do this, instead I just went right up his ramp, maybe I would have won? I would have been trapped if he had just pulled all these workers and pulled all these workers, he would have won. Yeah, he lost his natural, you know, and I thought about turning around. I guess I probably should have. He supply blocked and shit, too. If only I had a force food, man. Bam! Game over. And Protoss units are expensive, so even though I killed, like, all his workers and all his army... And only and his neck and everything down here and only lost my army, I end up losing more. Well, he's got a bit of army and he dropped and I didn't reply to the drop well response. That's a pretty good army. That's a lot of uh, marines. Good force fields, but he's got uh, workers too. Oh my god, my workers are being stupid because of my own force fields. Yeah, I don't know if focus firing an immortal down was a good idea. But yeah, I'm losing a lot of workers. Well, that's how. Okay, I lost 27 workers in that attack. Chased that a little bit farther than I wanted to. Fucking Terran. Now it's back to an even game, except for he's got healing and stimming and I've got no splash damage so it's not really an even game even though the economies are even and he took more damage than me at this point because I still have both my nexuses well I guess 
a lesser me would have lost the Nexus probably. I would have like sent everything up here and be like, oh, drop, easy, easy. What? 20 Marines and 3 bars down here? Or something. Or not pulled my workers down here and did the same thing I did and just lost those units and lost these units and lost the game. So at least I survived past this point. But with that opening, I should have fucking killed him, man. I should have turned back earlier. And that's like a measly number of units. Four stims every day. Got the medevac, so that's how you respond with the drop. I hate the crazy amount of pressure Terran can put on, man. So annoying. Like, I've literally won a game. Like, I had DTs and Zealots and shit. I had two base, and I killed his main and his natural. Everything was floating. And then he sent, I think, two medevacs with, like, 12 marines to my base. And because of stim and micro and splitting and stuff, I lost because I didn't have splash damage. And I had, like, five gates, maybe, and just warping in five things wasn't enough to beat 12 marines. And stupid me didn't just run my workers, warping around corner boost and then warping another round and then kill it and then win the game. I kept warping in, like, there to fight. So I had five units attack. I need to have good micro and, like, keep most of the stuff alive. And then over and over and over again while I lose my economy in between warpings. Yeah, I did have sentries, um, but only two. And he killed them. I, I force-fielded the ramp at the very start, and half his units were killing the rocks and out of position, kind of. He I, Also, I force-fielded behind his bunker so he couldn't repair at the last second. And I just... Killed a solar army except for like two units, and that was that. I, that's why I'm annoyed I lost. Like, I should have won that game. Um, but I only had like two sentries or something with a decent bit of energy, so I actually didn't have any sentries with the second thing. Once I killed his nexus and dis or his command center and decided to stay, I should have definitely warped in sentries, not stalkers, because that way I can just force suit his ramp and he can never come down until he's medevacs. Wish he had medevacs, but you understand my point. Force fielding an army in half and fighting that half and then fighting the other half is way better than just letting him stim down, surround me with workers, and, you know, win the battle. Did I do shift? Protoss. PvP is slightly favored, I'm finally not me that's slightly favored. Let's do this. I think PvP is my worst matchup, but I don't care. Hmm. Your work is at my base pretty early, big boy. He's at my base way too early, so he probably has a, um, proxy? No, fuck me, man. He's just bad. That's frustrating. Fuck me, man. God, I'm playing kind of slow, so I could have easily blocked that like a second or two sooner. Hmm. 
I do require more vitamin gas. Um, I like making four gates in this situation, even though I don't like going all in, um, because I like having the jump on them. They think I'm not going all in, um, or they think I'm going all in. Speaking of going all in. Here we go. If I get my workers out alive and he doesn't, which is already looking like it, then I'm in a huge lead. He returned home? What the fuck is going on?
I don't think I can win. I don't think I can get out the required number of shit. That sucks. That extremely sucks. What the fuck, man? I gotta watch that replay. I guess he macroed a little bit better than me. Actually, no. Since he started attacking my base slightly earlier, my economy was stopped earlier, and his economy was... Well, my economy wasn't really. I was just supply blocked. And his economy was stopped later. Um, so... Also, that stupid-ass opening that put me behind. Fuck, I wish that didn't fucking happen. When did he fucking scout, man? That's such an early scout. Oh, my God. So fucking early. That is the earliest you ever see someone scout in, P in PvP. Um, so I don't have my timings down perfectly, or else I should have known, like, this isn't that early. It's the earliest that's normal, you know? It's the earliest of the normal times to scout. But damn, that put me behind. And then fucking, um... Since he stopped my economy first, and I stopped his a little bit later, even though I killed all his workers, he was still warping in stalkers. So we're about to see, but I'm guessing he had like five or six more, because he had a decent number. And he mismicroed a little bit, but I mismicroed a lot. Like, I tried to pull my workers into the fray, like I right-clicked and then attack-click, and they just kept attacking buildings. And he misclicked because he, like, blunked some up and some down, so those, like, two were definitely dead, that one was definitely dead. But then I was misblinking. I shouldn't have lost a single stalker. But also, since I was blinking back towards his buildings, I they were blinking back and then attacking the buildings, not attacking his units, so that was not good. Cool that I hit this pylon. He didn't hide shit, he just maneuvered around the map. I think he didn't hide shit, we're about to see. Okay, he hit over there. Nice. About as far as mine, honestly. Well... A little bit farther than mine. Wait, is he making five gates? No. That's pretty hilarious. He's arriving at my base by the time I'm basically just leaving. I should have done blinking and shit. Which is really not good, because if I turn around and defend, he just gets a lot of workers and blinks out. If I split up and go half here and half here, so if he blinks out and gets punished, he doesn't get punished, because we have the exact same number of work, uh, stalkers. So I had to go all in, there was like no other option. At this point, I should have seen what was going on and just blunk forward and like, got to his base uber fast, like, and a little thing like that doesn't seem like much, but it is. Oh, he didn't chase me very well. Ah, uh, he's not the best. I shouldn't have lost him, probably. He did have one, so one worker alive. Three more stalkers than me. Come on, Jordan, you can win this shit. Oh my god, and then I had 16 workers, or 15, 14 here. Where the fuck are my workers? One there? Oh yeah, I'm one mining. Okay, good. Should have killed him. Uh, uh, good. Uh, uh. Shouldn't have lost that, shouldn't have lost that, shouldn't have lost that. Now it's 10 versus 16. He blinked micro. Okay. Hold on, let me rewind that. I'm about to say he blinked micro better than me, obviously, because he was picking off my shit and I wasn't picking off much of his. But let's see, did he actually? Yeah? Whenever they took any damage, he blunked him back, which I guess is good if you got the superior numbers. But then that was a horrible misblink, which led to four dying. Damn. So. Now it's 7 versus 12, and he's got 3 injured, and I've got none. Oh, but I've got no workers. I've got 7 left. 5 in the battle. Yeah, 5 workers does not equal 5 stalkers, so yeah, that's not good. 
If I was lightning fast, like if I was fucking liquid hero, the moment he did that, I would have focused fired that and started blinking back my hurt ones. And I would have killed one, two, three, and he would have killed zero, maybe one with the first blink. But even then, I wouldn't have won, so GG. Kind of sucks that I'm like looking for his army, like looking around, and he's in the one place I don't look. But I guess my pylon was in one place he didn't look. But that's a lot less severe. That's like the thing that leads to other things he didn't find. And I didn't find the things, the stalkers. I would have much rather caught him at home and not left my base. But I didn't want him to just sit there and wait for me to fucking leave my base and then whatever. Oh, wait. Not watch replay, start game, silly Billy. Yeah, three more stalkers he had than me. I still think I should have won, because 16 workers and three stalkers and his miss blink. I could have won. But, plus, once I got on supply block, I could warp in two more stalkers, yeah. And maybe still have enough to build a... No, not, build, not enough to build a cybernetics core, but... What's up, daddy-o? Okay. A container with what? Okay. Okay, thank you. Sweet, sounds good. Okay, cool. Papa. Papa Joe. If he's telling the truth, because you'd be surprised a lot of people lie about that kind of shit. If he is telling the truth, I'll just do the Naniwa. One gate expand build. We'll see. He might six pull. Random people are more aggressive, usually. My position hot piece. I know how to dance. Not really in real life, but... In StarCraft I do. You're good, man. Take your expands. Oh, fuck. 